Hi, I will be reviewing today a food dehydrator from Royal Catering. Um, a device great for any commercial kitchen, but also fantastic for home. So what it does, basically it does save money and it preserves food by drying it out. Uh, so let's say if you have an excess of herbs from your herb garden, instead of just um, chopping it up, freezing it, you can dry it and put it in your storage and keep it for a long time. Uh, same goes for commercial kitchens. So if you uh, have an excess of vegetables, you can dry it, you can use it for uh, broths and sauces later on. Uh, but also, it's not just for that. You can do a lot of things with it. It's very versatile. Uh, you can do garnishes with it. So I used to do like beetroot chips in it, uh, carrot chips and so on. Uh, so you're the chef, you'll figure it out. You know exactly what to do with it. Uh, so let's just go through uh, all the details for this model. It has six trays. Uh, of course, the trays are perforated and you can completely remove them from the housing. Uh, so it's sort of like a rack. So you just place your items on the rack. Just make sure they place flat because when you mount it or pile it up, uh, they won't dry properly and they, can, they may be discolored or, so, or, or something. So just make sure they're really flat and spread out on the tray. Um, as I said, six trays. Uh, all you can do is just push them into the machine, it goes really easy, just with a finger, just like that. Push them in, and now you have to turn the device on with a simple click of a switch. Then you have temperature regulation. You can regulate the temperature between zero and 68 degrees. Set the temperature. For vegetables, you'll need probably around uh, 30, 40, or 50 degrees. Uh, so I'll just do it 52. Um, then you just set the time. So all you have to do, just press the set button until you see the timer blinking. When it blinks, the left arrow is for setting it plus. I'll probably need around eight hours or eight and a half. Press the set button to set the minutes as well. So just for the purpose of the exercise, I'll put 30 minutes, just like that. Press set to confirm the time and then just press start and the device starts. All right. With this device, the producer gives you a three-year warranty, and when you order it, uh, they made sure it will arrive to your place safe and sound by putting in this really secure package in a really sturdy cardboard box with lots of packaging material in it. Also inside, you will find this instruction manual. I cannot stress enough how important that bit is. Uh, there's a lot of useful information on how to prep the device for its first use, uh, how to use it, how to set the time and, all, and so forth. So definitely a good read. Um, all right, so if you're looking for a food dehydrator, just check out the website. There's a variety of those on offer. Uh, so you will definitely find the one that you need for your venue. So in about eight and a half hours, I'll show you what the machine does and I showed you the result. All right, so the time is up. Let's see the result. So taking the shelves out, starting with the sun-dried tomatoes. Then we have the celery chips. Then we have some carrot chips, nice and dry. And then we have beautifully dried mushrooms. So as you can see, Really nice result after just eight and a half hours. Uh, feel free to experiment, uh, do your thing. Uh, just a couple of advices. Uh, these things are ready for uh, storing, but if you're storing them for a long time, make sure you store them in really airtight and uh, dry containers. Uh, remember, moisture is the biggest enemy of dried goods. I always put a bit of a paper towel inside just to keep the moisture away. Uh, and I packed them really uh, tight. So that's about it. If you found this informative, just leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know what other equipment you want me to test and I'll do it for you. Remember, I'm your hands-on expert. I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.